Hi there, I'm Gray at Hub Guitar, and I want to tell you about the Kaiser Quick Change Capo. So, this capo has been around for a very long time, and for a good reason. It's got a time-tested design that a lot of players really like to use. So, the great thing about the Kaiser Quick Change Capo is that it is probably the easiest and simplest capo to use. You simply squeeze to open the capo, and then you stick the capo on top of your guitar over any fret, and of course, you want to not put it on upside down. So many times I hand this to a student in my studio and they try to put it on upside down. No, you can't. that's the bottom. The little part's the bottom. The big part's the top. That's the part that goes on top of the fret. So you squeeze to open it and you stick it on any fret. Okay, that's it. Very, very, very simple capo to use. The only drawback about the spring capo is that uh, because every guitar is different, um, it, it may not have the perfect tension for your guitar, which is why this company also makes a low tension capo, which I also tried out and I found worked really well for this guitar. So I actually recommend you check out the low tension capo for uh, acoustic guitar and uh, hopefully, you know, compare a couple of them. Either way, it's not really a big deal. This is a great capo to have around. I think that everybody should have one of these around. And, uh, but I want to show you what happens with spring capos with guitar intonation and uh, hopefully help you see why it's important to fine tune your guitar after adding any capo. So I fine tune my guitar after I add any capo, no matter what kind of capo it is. I find that with spring based capos, I have to do a little tiny bit more fine tuning than normal. So that's just part of the design. So if I add this capo after I tune it, let's take a look at my tuner here. Make sure that I'm perfectly in tune first. Looks like I'm in pretty good shape. Okay. Now I'm going to stick this capo on the third fret. Suddenly, you'll start to see a jump where the note is actually sharper than it was now that I've added the capo, and it's not just one string. I actually noticed this. The middle two strings tend to stay kind of more in tune, but sometimes the outer strings jump around a little bit, and this is affected by whatever tuning I'm in. If I'm in alternate tuning, it could change around a little bit, but it tends to be that the, especially the bigger strings get squeezed a little bit too much. So after I put the capo on, what I'll actually do if I want to be in tune, which is a good goal, I'll just very slightly adjust so I can get to the green part of my tuning. Just a little tiny bit and make sure that I'm perfectly in tune with the capo on. Just an extra step, but it's going to make you sound better. So it's worth doing. After you put a capo on, uh, fine tune your guitar. Okay, so that's it for the Kaiser Quick Change Capo. They've got electric guitar, acoustic guitar, um, higher tension, lower tension. You know, take a look around and find the right one for you. I think every guitar player should probably have one of these. It's probably the most widely used and popular capo. And uh, also it's pretty cost effective. I think it's around 20 bucks or maybe even less to get one. So there's really no reason why not to get one. Okay, so that's it for my video. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.